Hi, this is Łukasz from the Blender Smoothie channel. Today I want to show you how to use a skin modifier. Let's get started. On the default scene I have our default cube. I will enter the edit mode by pressing tab, then select almost all vertices, press X to delete and I have one vertex left. I will move it right here and it will be my starting point. So if I want to create more edges I have to uh, press and hold the control button on my keyboard and then press the right mouse button like this, like this, like this, click and here I can also select two vertices in the same time and also press control and right mouse button to create two vertices. I will move this one on the X axis and then add some more here, here and also some here and just like that so we can, we can create a sticky figure. It's our stick figure and I will move the arms on the x-axis a little bit so this is our figure and right now I want to add a volume to my figure so I have to go to the modifiers tab press add modifier and then skin modifier. Right now I have this volume added but everything is so uh, thick. I want some parts to be thinner and some parts to be thicker. To do so I have to enter the edit mode then I will turn on the x-ray so I can see everything, every edge. Then I will select some vertices and press Ctrl plus A. So with moving my mouse right now I can modify the thickness of every part of my mesh. Just like just like that. Uh, I want to use also a subdivision surface modifier and so I will see the results better. Drop Z and new scale. That's okay. Scale this axis maybe maybe these parts should be thinner okay this is of course only an example as you can see uh, the distance between the points is matters and creates some different mesh at the end and it can be a very good starting point for uh, sculpting for example uh, especially if I add some more uh, some more subdivision and of course of, uh, also I can use that model to use a shrink wrap modifier mm, and it, uh, it can uh, perform 
I like uh, Remesh for our, for example, 3D scans. I will show that in a different video. Uh, I also want to select a smooth shading, so it's better right now. And uh, one more thing. Uh, if you are using a mirror modifier, make sure that you have selected any vertex and select mark root. Uh, the root is, uh, is shown by this uh, dashed circle. Uh, the root will be also uh, another uh, bone in our armature. I will show it in a moment. So right now I want to create a amateur by clicking create amateur. So this is this is it and this is the special bone uh, to the root of our model. And if I have amateur selected here, then I can go to the pose mode and modify something, for example, rotate our hand. And there is one more thing to the posing, because if I go, if I get out of the posing mode, go to the our mesh, original mesh, and then in the edit mode, I or object mode mm, I have to go to the modifier properties and our armature is here if it will be here you could see very ugly artifacts so I prefer to have it right after the skin modifier or even at the top so it will modify our original edges. So that's all for today and if it was helpful for you please click like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. Bye!